Good evening, welcome to a new video. In today's video, let's start off with a little bit of technical analysis, see where the price is at, just quickly. Um, so uh, I asked a question in the uh, members chat uh, where the price is currently finding support at. You can clearly see it's those uh, two little EMA lines, which are approximately the same thing, just on a different time scale. Um, so it's a 21 EMA on the four hourly chart that's holding the price up. We can see that we're coming into this point of control, likely to reject with the smaller EMAs curling down. Um, so what are the next levels of support? Uh, one would ask, uh, and it's pretty much the EMA. So you, you wanna have a look at those EMAs and this 20.3K, which has a high volume cluster, okay? So those are the areas that we want to look up for. Um, <clears throat> the main reason is that in, normally in a bull trend, what you want to see is that the price um, basically finds support within um, um, the 21 and the 55 EMA on the four hourly, which are these two EMAs. Now the uh, 55 has some, some confluence uh, with the 377. So it could be likely that it overshoots this target a little bit <coughs> before we start actually coming up. Okay, so watch this um, support line, watch this support line, which is at 19.8K. Okay, those are the levels that we want to uh, watch out for. And what you could see happen is that the price reverses comes back up with the EMA curling slowly down and we get a reaction. Well, at that point, I will slowly start to change my bias around, okay? Uh, but that's still to be considered, but uh, for now we're still buying the dip pretty much, right? Uh, because of the higher time frame breakout that we have seen. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's go into creating an algorithm because that's what this video will uh, be about. And I uh, already did the preparation for us. So I created an idea which I'll go over with you guys. And um, I started using the percentage offsets and the percentage amounts so we can start compounding our trades as much as possible and making uh, better profits and have a more dynamic algorithm. Okay, so again, we have a bull, bear, a bull take profit, bear take profit, bull add and bear add. Okay, so we're, we will be pairing it with our uh, traditional HPH indicator, which I have plotted on the chart on the 15 minute time frame. I have another one which, with the strategy backtester, so we can do a quick backtest. The first thing that I want to uh, explain to you guys is the backtesting properties, which are set normally to USD. So basically, you you can give an, give the bot uh, or the backtesting on trading view. You can give, give it an initial capital of what we have a thousand dollars as default, an order size of five hundred, and a, a pyramiding of two, which means that you're adding on the add signals. Okay, so you have two orders entering in, two out. Okay, so. Uh, this is how you should set up uh, the most accurate backtest, but in this new version with the percentage offsets, I can set the percentage equity to 50%, for example, of what I have, which will still be $500, but as my capital grows, uh, this 50% order size will also grow. As my capital shrinks, this will, of course, also shrink. So it's much more dynamic, and um, yeah, I think we should uh, start going with that slowly. So that's what I uh, went with. And what you can also see in the profit uh, here, uh, you can see we uh, net we have a net profit of 81% when we do 50% of our equity. When we do 500 contracts, oh, 500 contracts, uh, you can of course see a lower profit of 62%, of course, because we don't compound our profits into our next trade, which is something you want to do if you have a profitable algorithm, of course. So that's what it is. We're going with 50% uh, equity and uh, we're going to use some leverage. So at times we're going to do 500% of our equity, okay? And then you get a much bigger profit, of course, a slightly bigger draw drawdown as well, but it's still very, very much doable. So this is what we're going with. And I've uh, basically found some settings uh, for the other backtest, which I shared with you guys. Uh, let's go to settings, uh, which are these. I've shared them in the, the, in the Discord with everyone. <coughs> let's have a quick look. Uh, in the associate chart, I've gave you, uh, gave you given you guys this, uh, these settings and I have the bot, um, the testing bot uh, live running. Testing is going well, so I couldn't find any bugs, which means that uh, I had probably some agent settings messed up. Um, so that's why I created a new algorithm, which I'll start up very soon. And right after that, I'll work on a new one uh, um, that I will also add to the library so that we have a, um, yeah, a wide range of um, um, strategies to choose from. But also I give you guys the way that I create these strategies so that you guys can uh, try it yourself. Okay, so the, the bot that is running is doing something really simple. Okay, because we know that our indicator gives us these signals. So for example, let's just take a price area where we have a variety of signals. So we have a bull here, take profit ads uh, and uh, shorts here. And for example, if we have a bull ad, which is for example, these signals, we're just buying with one agent. So it's one order, 
with a 0.5 offset. What does that mean? It means that I'm bidding to buy the price with a limit order half a dollar away from the current price. So I'm basically the first in line. This means I want to be the first in line, 0.5 offset. I want to be right on there. Entry timeout means after how many minutes do I want to check if I'm still the first in line? So I have it set to 0 0.3. So basically uh, every uh, 18 seconds, it will basically check if it's the first in line. If not, it will shift its order back to the first in line. This basically means that I'm um, adding 60% of my equity directly with a limit order, chasing the price up or down. Okay, so that's the ad signal. Uh, for example, the bear ad is doing the same thing, but it's selling. So the sell is set to true, where uh, in the bull ad, uh, the buy is set to true. That's the only huge difference. They have a stop loss of $127. So I'm risking about 0.6% uh, uh, on the trade. Um, right there and i don't have an exit mod uh do i have a, i have a i don't have an exit so i have the exit multiplier set to impossible pr pretty much so it will never reach this exit uh, target which means that i'm uh, basically sticking with the trade okay this is something i just did for, did for testing it's not the smartest way to go about which we'll see in the algorithm that we're about to dive into in a second so that's the bear ad bull ad uh, the take profit is one order with, which which i called first bear tp so first BTP, and it's again a 0.5 offset. So first in line, trying to exit, uh, so take profit on 50% of the bearish uh, signal, which you have to buy to take profit on the bear. Because if you have a bearish signal, so a bearish signal means that you have a sell. So an, an S sign, which we have right here. Okay, and in this indicator, you can, pr pr um, you can also choose to, uh, you can choose to, only have the trend changes and then we can see all of the bear signals so for example this is a sell signal so within the sell signal if you have a take profit you want to buy back whatever you sold okay let's take a better sell signal this one right here let's put the take profits back on so we can say uh, use use take profit okay you can see you sell here and you take profit down at the bottom here Right, so that's the take profit. When you sell, you want to buy to take profit. When you buy, you want to sell to take profit. Okay, so um, let's go just uh, dive into the to the actual um, uh, strategy that I've created today. Uh, it start off uh, starts off with the initiate bull. Okay, so let's start with the bull table. What are we doing on a, a bullish signal? It's again a half a dollar offset, which means it's basically uh, first in line and it's doing 150% of our equity. So it's doing, doing a 1.5 leverage, 1.5x leverage of whatever you have. Uh, it, it's going long for. And then it also has seven DCA agents, which are going to dollar cost average over a range of 1.6%. Okay, so they will place, place their order. They will not chase the price up. So you can see the entry timeout is 0 0.1 here, which is six seconds. Every six seconds, it will shift the price up until it buys 150%. Uh, and the other ones have a bigger entry timeout. So they are just um, uh, dollar cost averaging into a short, okay, uh, into a long, sorry. This is a long, of course. And you can see it's all percentage amounts. So we have the initial entry, which is directly, then we're going to dollar cost average. And I might change these uh, numbers a little bit so that we have a better um, uh, average entry, basically. Okay, so after the seven dollar cost average agents, okay, so we have, we initiate with initi initiate bull, which means that basically right up on uh, getting that bull signal or bear signal, uh, in this example, the bull signal, right uh, on getting this, we buy something. Why? Well, this is a perfect example of why we would do that, because sometimes the price doesn't really come back and it comes back and it just keeps going up and you don't want to be in a short in this position. So right here, we want to buy 1.5x leverage. So 1.5x leverage, so 150% of whatever we have in our in our uh, Bybit account. Okay, so we buy that right away and then we place limit orders below that. And if the price moves up, our limit orders will every 20 minute, they will shift themselves up with the price. Right, that's what I have set up in the, uh, in this uh, initiate and uh, in this uh, in these DCAs, and then DCA four has children, 
in total six children and these children are going to do um, market making so when we get to uh, dca4 uh, and it's filled so the agent it has entered uh, its position that means that we're pretty deep into the dollar cost averaging already and that's where you want to potentially start doing some market making. Now I added a small trailing entry, which means that what, what we want to see in the chart is that um, you basically... So what you want to see basically in the chart is that um, the price basically goes down to this fourth, let's say that this is the fourth agent of 0.4%. Oh, I can't write like this, but you get the point. So um, uh, the price uh, drops to this fourth agent. This fourth agent buys his, uh, his bag, which let's go back to the, uh, the actual table. Um, so it's the bull new. Oh. Wrong one. Bullstream. So um, you basically get to this fourth agent. You buy a 0.4% um, below the price where the bull signal came in. Okay. So where did the bull signal came in? Right. Come in right here. Um, let's say at the top of this, and 0.4% would would be about only here. So that might have to be. Let me delete some of these. Okay, so right here on this candle, we get the signal. So at the top of this candle, 0.4% uh, is right here. Okay, so we enter right here, and this is where the market making will happen, and you basically get an extra set of uh, agents. So you get an extra set of agents, which are, which are basically doing a very tiny range. Uh, and DCA7, which is the last in line, which is 1.6% uh, below the entry point, uh, which let's go back to here. Um, so if this is the bull signal, 1.6% uh, below that would be somewhere here. Okay, so uh, right here we will have another agent. If this agent fills, we get more uh, little um, uh, children that start uh, basically doing market making for us. Okay, so that, those are the DCA 7.1 uh, up to 7.6. And we also have for uh, DCA6, which is this one right here, we have something else, which uh, is maybe a little bit complicated, but uh, listen with me for a second. So when we get to this um, DCA6, uh, that means that we're pretty low in the dollar cost averaging or price has already retraced uh, quite a bit. And it also means that we have accumulated a lot of contracts. Now, some of these contracts we want to take a profit on because otherwise <clears throat> we just keep accumulating and you also need to take profit. So what we say is if price has dropped 1% from the initial buy signal, we will start placing some sells. Okay, you can see it's, it's selling here and it's selling 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So pretty big, big range. And so let me tr try to draw that out, uh, how that will look like. So let's just keep with this um, uh, example right here. Let me delete some of the mess here. So let's say we indeed get this signal at the bull message and let's say we come down 1% of that, <clears throat> which means that what would happen is about this, okay, right here. We would have bought so much that now we are at the sixth uh, DCA agent and this agent will spawn children which are going to sell 1% up to 2% above the price, I think. Let me just double check that. 1% uh, up to 1.4%. Okay, I could make this a little bit wider. I think that's um, that would be more appropriate, but um, yeah. Um, so they will start placing sell orders and that would look like this. So you get sell orders right here. That means that you have filled the bag on some of your longs and now those longs have placed sells. So if we come here, these sells will have taken position. What are those cells programmed to do? So let's have a quick look at <clears throat> their strategy. They have a 1.2 to 1.3 on average um, exit multiplier. Okay, so that means that whatever the exit, uh, the entry was, they will go for an exit multiplier of 1.3 or an exit factor of 1.3. 
which let's just delete some of these uh, drawings, which means that what we have um, strategized here is that if price comes down to our sixth agent and the sixth agent buys, then some cells will be placed higher up. If we come to those cells, the exit target will be 1.2, which means that we're going to sit right at that liquidity zone from the low, which means that if that take, P, take profit was a good take profit, we'll likely hit this liquidity zone here and <clears throat> basically have a pretty nice uh, take profit. And then the cells will be placed at the 786. Okay, And then we could pretty much play this as well in a bull trend. Right, so that's uh, how I set up those agents. And now, of course, I'm going to monitor if I did everything correctly, but that's the idea behind them. And uh, it's still a simple idea uh, in my uh, opinion. So we can extend up, up on this idea a lot uh, from here. So uh, what this is doing is taking a, like a six, seven X leverage position. And uh, what I did guys is I created the bear table with a wider offset. So it's going to dollar cost average over a wider range and with lower percentage of my um, uh, account. Okay, so this is a slightly bullish ba uh, biased uh, um, strategy where every time we get a bear signal, I'm pretty much going 2x short, which is very, very um, little, <clears throat> little exposure. And every time we get a bull signal, I go about five, six x long. Okay, <clears throat> and then we have the bull take profit and uh, add signals which uh, in, in, in the way that I have set, set up the indicator, we will, we will be receiving a lot of uh, add and take profit signals. And so they are pretty important. So what I've done here for now, and I will bring out another strategy with stop losses, but for now I have chosen to do market making in that area, which means to just have dollar cost average agents. Um, every time we get a bear take profit, we're going to dollar cost average um, into a longing case. Okay. Every time we get a bull ad, we're going to long. Every time we get a, a bull take profit, we're going to short. And it's all dollar cost averaging. So you'll see basically grids opening up. Uh, and all of the exit multipliers are realistic targets so that um, the agents get a lot of work uh, done in this uh, area where most of the time it's some accumulation area, right? So for example, in this area right here, um, you have uh, a lot of add and take profit. So you pretty much want your sales right up here and your loans right up, uh, right down there. And you want to lock the price up so that every time it comes up and down, you're basically making some profitable trades. Okay, so that's the idea behind the bear, uh, bear TP and bull add signals. Uh, and yeah, that's the main idea of this strategy. Um, don't want to make the video too long for today. And um, I hope this will help you to understand um, the agent's uh, strategies a little bit better. And I will come with uh, another strategy very soon. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.